The 300 round minigun has just been added to the game, and it's likely the most controversial weapon added so far. So let's dive in and see if it lives up to the hype. We'll have a look at where we can find it, its statistics, uses, and try to answer some questions you might have. Hey guys, Jafar here, and let's get started. The minigun can't be researched or crafted. It can only be obtained from a lock crate or a heavy scientist, who now also have the chance to wield the minigun. Here's the chances for finding the minigun in these places. The recoil of the minigun varies significantly based on your stance. Crouching provides the most recoil reduction, while standing and walking increase your recoil. Let's compare the minigun's standing recoil to the M249 in AK. When compared to the M249 and AK, the minigun's recoil is significantly reduced, increasing your chances of landing more shots in your target and dealing more damage. The minigun has a 0.8 degree aim cone. This means at a distance of 100 meters, you have a deviation of 1.4 meters if you're firing single shots. The minigun is unique in that it cannot be reloaded in the wild. You must first be within a radius of a level two or higher workbench. From there, you can open your inventory and click the reload button. However, this only works for the default 5.56 rifle round. The minigun deals 37.5 damage per shot, with a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. This gives the minigun a DPS of 375, which falls right in line next to the AK. Looking at the damage drop off, we can see it starts to lose damage at over 20 meters away, stopping at 30 damage at 100 meters. Here's a look at the time to kill in seconds for each tier of player. We can then compare that to the performance of the M249, AK, and HM LMG. We can see that the minigun performs the worst against tank and naked players, compared to every other weapon in this chart, while it improves against metal tier players. The weapon's durability decreases after shooting it or spinning the barrel, so avoid unnecessary spinning. In total, I was able to shoot off around 1,090 bullets before the minigun broke. This was also with trying to avoid as much unnecessary spinning as possible. Once the minigun breaks, the item and ammo inside are destroyed, removing the ability for it to be repaired, so use it carefully. Holding the minigun does not slow you down. However, spinning up the barrel reduces your max speed to just below regular walking speed. Therefore, I would suggest using this weapon in guarded environments, or inside bases where movement is limited. If you can't be trusted with the minigun, you can always hand over responsibility to the turret, which happily holds the minigun. Upon placing it inside, the minigun begins to spin. Don't worry, this spinning doesn't decrease the durability. Enemies will also be able to hear the minigun spinning through the wall, so there won't be any surprises. Once you load the tower with ammo and exit out of the menu, it instantly reloads. So if you don't have a level 2 workbench, use auto turrets for reloading. Power it on and it's ready to start raining down. Here's a comparison with the minigun turret against other weapons. Can it hold attachments? I'm sorry to say, but the minigun doesn't have any slots for attachments. Can you equip a backpack while holding the minigun? Despite appearing to replace the backpack slot, you can still equip a backpack while using this weapon. Can you use the minigun in the attack heli? The minigun can be included in the attack heli's weapon slot and used while seated in the co-pilot's seat. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.